Okay, here is how you record using your GTX uh, graphics card. First, you're going to make sure your drivers are up to date. In order to do that, install the NVIDIA GeForce Experience software. It looks like this. Once it is fully installed, it will prompt you to log in. I logged in using my Google account. You can, you can use other accounts if you want to, but that's the easiest. Once you do that, go to your drivers. Make sure you update your driver. It, look right here. It even tells me GeForce Game Ready driver. This one is already automatically downloaded because I set it in the settings to automatically download. All I have to do is click install, which I will not do right now because I am in the middle of recording. But after I'm done recording, I will install it. Then you restart your computer. Once you've installed the latest drivers and restarted your computer, then you will go to your settings and you want to do this in game overlay. You want to make sure it's on. You want to make sure you can press Alt Z to share your gameplay or adjust your settings. <clears throat> so once that is turned on, you can press Alt Z just like that and it brings up this little in-game overlay. The in-game overlay has several things. It has an instant replay feature where you can turn it on if mine is currently on and then you just click hit save. You can also use Alt F10 to do that. Um, you can share but it's I, I think an easier way to share is whatever software you use for video editing would be for sharing. Uh, it also has a regular record feature which is what I'm using right now. You just tell it to start and I could tell it to stop and save. And each of these have settings. It has a live broadcast. I have not used this, so I don't know anything about it. The other thing you can do is you can select the audio. Here I have it set to always on, meaning my microphone, blah, 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 blah. You can set up a push to talk where you, whatever key you use to push to talk, I think you have to change that in settings or something like that. I don't know, I haven't used it. Uh, and you can also view a gallery of all the recordings that you have done previously. Taking a look at some of the settings, one thing that you will want to change, go to your video capture. You can set the length of your instant replay you can set your quality. Your quality should be whatever resolution your screen is set to, or not set to, whatever resolution your screen is. Mine in this case is 1440p. Uh, frame rate, 60 FPS is nice, 30 is acceptable for a recording. And then uh, your bit rate, mine is set all the way to the top and it shouldn't be right here. I really should move it down to around 25 or 30, especially if it's going on YouTube, because that makes the upload process faster and YouTube compresses it. So I recommend you bring your bod or your, your bit rate down because that will make it easier on you and it'll also make it easier to edit. Those are some of those settings. The other thing that is neat or that you, you can do your keyboard shortcuts, but the other thing that you will enjoy is you can do different things in the different corners. So I have a status indicator up in the upper left. You probably can't see that in the recording, but I also have an FPS counter in the upper right, which you will be able to see anytime I start a game. You can do see how many viewers are in your thing and how many comments if you're doing a live broadcast sort of deal. So I will demonstrate this for you. If we close our close that overlay and close this, I can start up a game. Give it just a second. Sorry about my audio, by the way. I do only have a uh, just a cheap microphone. But anyway, so here you can hear. Hopefully, you can hear me over the audio from the game. We're running a game, and up in the upper right, you should be able to see my FPS counter. I can see it, and I can also see a status indicator that tells me I'm recording and that my audio is live. Or I mean, not live. Audio is included in the recording. You probably can't see that. Hit all the to bring up your thing. You can make sure your instant replay is on. And then you can also do recording, broadcast, and all that, blah, 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 blah. You just hold F1, save screenshot. Those are the features that you can use in your thing, in your, uh, uh, what you call it, in order to produce a video using your graphics card. The one thing that at this point I don't think is supported is if you had a, what's the word called? A webcam or some sort of camera for a shot. I think you need a third party software if you want to do that. But if all you want is just the game and your audio over it, this will do it for you using the, the drivers that come along.